All right, so now we're going to move on to add some polynomials, and um, I'm going to do this in a horizontal format um, rather than the vertical format. But the vertical format means that you would line up your powers vertically. So you would do, for example, 2x to the third minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 9 for the first one. And then you would line up your second polynomial, lining up each of your terms that has the same exponent. So x to the third would go there, plus 6x squared would go here, plus 11 would go here. Okay. Now that's one way you can do it. The other way you can do this is you can just write it out horizontally, which is how it typically will be given to you. So minus 9, and then adding, and I don't have room, but you would then add x to the third plus 6x squared plus 11, okay? So I'll just go ahead and do both since I've got them both written out here. I would just add these so I get 3x to the third. I would then add the coefficients here to get plus x squared. There's nothing to add to 3x, so it would just be plus 3x, and then negative 9 plus 11 would just be plus 2. Then if I wanted to do it in the other format, horizontally, I would just mark down which like terms I'm adding together to help. So um, 2 plus 1x to the third will give us 3x to the third. Negative 5x squared plus 6x squared would be positive 1x squared. 3x doesn't get to be combined with anything because there are no like terms for it. And then negative 9 plus 11 is plus 2. And so either way you do this, you will end up with the same answer. Our next one we will subtract, and it says to subtract 5z squared minus z plus 3 from 4z squared minus 9z minus 12. And so, when I write this, I'm going to go ahead and write it as 4z squared plus 9z minus 12 minus 5z squared minus z plus 3. So, what you need to do is you need to remember that when you're subtracting this polynomial, it's the same thing as distributing through by a negative 1. And so I'm going to go ahead and just distribute through by that negative 1 and change it to addition, just so that I don't get any mistakes that are made with the combining of like terms. So it's plus negative 5z squared plus z minus 3 for that second set of parentheses there. So. I'm going to recopy my first polynomial, 4z squared plus 9z minus 12, and then I will go ahead and combine some like terms. So 4z squared minus 5z squared is negative, or the opposite of z squared. 9z plus z gives me 10z. Negative 12 minus 3 gives me negative 15, and so that is simplified completely. All right, so multiplying polynomials in a vertical or horizontal format. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just multiply them in a horizontal format again because this is what we're more used to when we see the distributive property. And I'm going to write the binomial first. It doesn't matter which order you go in. But I'm going to go ahead and write this as y minus 2 times negative 2y squared plus 3y minus 6. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I distribute the y to all three of these terms here. So I'm going to do negative 2y to the third plus 3y squared minus 6y when I distribute the y to all three terms in that trinomial. Then I need to distribute as well with negative 2. So negative 2 minus times negative 2y squared will give me positive 4y squared, then negative 6y, and then positive 12. 
okay? And so then from here, I just go ahead and combine some like terms. So negative 2y to the third has no like terms. There are no other y to the third. Uh, 3y squared plus 4y squared gives me 7y squared. Negative 6y minus 6y is negative 12y and then plus 12. And my little marking system, how I draw squiggles, that's just a good way to remember which like terms you've added together so you don't forget about one. So that is our final answer here. So we have one more problem that we'll talk about. So using special product patterns, we've got PQ plus 5 to the third power. So we are going to expand this binomial to be three binomials. So we've got PQ plus 5 three times, times itself. And what we're going to do is you can start by just multiplying out one pair of these binomials. And so I'm just going to start with the first two. It doesn't matter which two you multiply first, especially in this case because they're all the same binomial. So PQ times PQ is P squared Q squared. PQ times 5 would be 5PQ plus 5PQ plus 25. And then that whole expression will be multiplied by PQ plus 5. But first I'm going to simplify because I've got these two 5PQs in the middle. So I'm going to do P squared Q squared plus 10PQ plus 25. And then I'm going to multiply the uh, trinomial times the binomial here. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply. P squared Q squared times PQ gives me P to the third and Q to the third. And then I get plus 5P squared Q squared. My second term is 10PQ, so that'll end up being 10P squared Q squared plus 50PQ. And then finally, we get 25 gets distributed to be plus 25PQ plus 125, 25 times 5. So then our last thing we check is do we still have any like terms? So we do. We have these two like terms, 5P squared Q squared plus 10P squared Q squared. So those will add up. Um, P to the third, Q to the third stays the same. Plus 15 P squared, Q squared. And then we've got 50 PQ plus 25 PQ to get 75 PQ. Plus 125. And so that is our expanded binomial to the third power. And so tomorrow in class we'll learn a little bit more about this. See you then.